Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, the place where we simplify tech so you can get things done smarter and faster. In today's video, we are diving into one signal. Whether you're a developer, marketer, or just starting out, we will walk you through step by step on how to set up one signal, connect it to your site or app, and send your first push notifications in minutes. So, if you are ready to boost engagement and never miss a chance to reach your audience, stick around, hit that like button, and let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of OneSignal. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials, talk to sales, but of course, the best option is to click the Get Started Now. Why? Because this is going to be the best opportunity for you to create an account. And if in case you access this kind of error, you need to use a VPN because one signal is imploring a thing called geo restriction on specific region and areas. And then once you have successfully created an account, you just have to provide all the information needed and follow the on screen instructions. And then you will be forwarded to the main homepage of one signal. So there's going to be a welcome dialog box giving you a quick start guide but i want you to click the complete later because we're gonna explore this together and you may easily notice that the one signal platform is very clean and intuitive it's very easy to use we guarantee and promise you that now now the dashboard is gonna be your main control center providing a quick overview of your notification performance since this is a newly created account we don't have any push notifications yet but if you do you will see the recent campaigns active users and high level analytics all right so for us to be able to create a push notifications here in one signal we need to go to the get the setup button because again this is a newly created account that would forward us from dashboard to the settings the bottom part section of our um, left side panel of our here in the platform now you can choose the channels is it going to be push and in-app notifications or email notifications or sms it's up to you all right so there are no um wrong and right answers if we opt to the email all right we will be forwarded here so you can get started with one signal email so that it would allow you to send marketing and transactional push emails notification in one set. All right. So the free plan gives you 10,000 free emails per month. Okay. You can continue setup or try sending an email first, depending on your preferences. So if you click the continue setup, you need to create your default sender email. So in our case, that's going to be this email right here. Okay. And default name is going to be um, be this. And I'm going to click on the continue button. Right. So as you can see, you need to use another sender address or buy a new domain below. So personal emails like Gmail, Yahoo, and Hotmail or Outlook cannot be used. In that case, once we have that comfort, click on the continue. Right. So you need to verify your account. And then click the start test sending. Message name is going to be, let's say, the sender name is going to be this. Your audience is about to receive this message. You can include segment or exclude segment. Plus the sender name, which is going to be in the sender email. You also have the option to create a reply to email. And then you can drop and drag anything here like an image with a textbook. All right. Now, as you can see, you have the first option and we can have advanced settings here for social medias and large. Now, I want you to click the send test. All right. And then this is the test email recipient. In my case, again, I'm going to be using my other email, which is this one. And click the send test. Later, subject is going to be... um that so let's try to click the send test again 
click the CSM chest. Hopefully, we will be able to receive that. Now, let's check our email. And then I want you to click the save button for now. Okay, so we have successfully created a push notifications for the um, other sections. We're going to go to the settings. Now we're going to use the push and in app for the... Um, you need to choose the following platform. Are you going to use the web for the push setup notifications? Google Android, Apple iOS, Huawei Android, Chrome extensions, Windows, and a lot more. So it's up to you. If you wanted to use the Google Android, okay, let's click on continue. You need to provide the service account or upload from your computer. If you don't, just go back again. You might want to use a Chrome extension instead. Click on the continue button, okay? And then if you're not sure about the Firebase server key, you might want to let the um, OneSignal help you configure that by clicking the Chrome app extension documentation, all right? Now, what will happen is you will be forwarded here. It's a very easy to follow guide. You need to create or open your Firebase project. Now, if you don't have any Firebase console or project yet, click the uh, Firebase console. You need to get started with a Firebase project, all right? Let's click on that, enter your project. Say, for example, um, we're going to use this. Click the continue button, click the continue, continue, accept all of it and create the first project. Okay, so this is kind of like prerequisite for you to um, move forward with creating a push notifications and in-app using one signal. Now, at this point, it's very important to know that you need to have a strong and active internet connection because that could interfere if you have um, unstable connection. Once it's finished, you will be forwarded to the project that you have created on Firebase. Click the continue button and then if you're not um, sure yet, let's go again to the documentation. Now, once you are on the dashboard of Firebase, I want to make sure that you go to the quick overview settings. Go to the project settings and go to the cloud messaging and make sure that API v1 is enabled. All right, if it's disabled, you're not going to be able to move forward. And then after making sure that the uh, Firebase cloud messaging AP1 is enabled. Now, after that, you need to go to the service accounts tab. Why? Because we need to generate a new private key, which is required by one signal to create an in-app push notification. All right, I want you to click on it and click the generate key and you may notice that there's going to be a dialogue um, pop-up message all right click that and you see that you need to uh, save it to a safe place once you to click on it you also have the option to copy to clipboard depending on your preferences and then now let's go back again to the push and end app notifications we're going to use the google android again and this time we have the JSON file ready in place. Let's click on the continue. We need to upload from our computer and choose file. Okay, so if in case you are not able to upload the JSON file, that means you have reached the free plans limit. And for you to be able to unlock all the free tools and features, you need to click the upgrade button. If you do, you will be forwarded here. Right now we're using the uh, zero month per month free plan but it's kind of limiting all right you, you see that right now you can have all these but for you to be able to unlock all the tools and features you need to upscale to a the growth plan coming around nine dollars per month and the professional around custom and the enterprise but you can also invite a team member to complete this step if you're having issues or problems or confused about this whole um process right and then all that for just is click the save and continue. And with that being said, and that's a wrap on today's walkthrough of how to use OneSignal and create powerful push notifications. Whether you're managing a mobile app, website, or even just starting out, 
One signal makes it incredibly easy to reach your audience in real time, boost engagement, and automate your messaging. From setting up your dashboard, crafting messages, to targeting the right audience, OneSignal delivers a seamless experience without requiring heavy tech skills. So if you're looking for a reliable, scalable, and user-friendly push notification platform, OneSignal is absolutely worth trying. Plus, it's free to get started, although it has its own limitations. Again, if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss more tech and software tutorials just like this one. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.